We wanted to run We wanted to fall together Back then our world seemed so clear We grew so bright Shimmering lights around us We take flight into the sky How many worlds would you cross To use the light that's right in front of you There is no light on the earth Good morning, bright everyone It is finally sunny outside Because when I woke up in the morning it was raining and um, I just want to give you a little body update just so you can see um, you can probably see that the the water weight has been still stuck here a little bit but all in all I'm not not that puffy anymore which is uh, actually quite good you can see sort of that you know the 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 puffiness of my chest is gone so you can see that the the muscle is coming back through which is actually quite good like I like I said you know it's something which just hopefully is going to take a week now I need to put some cream on all that stuff and then I'm going to show you my old house in Husum and in Oldenswald which are two Dorf, Dörfer is what you call it in German and um, I'll show you my but this, this is sort of the, the second time I'm going to take you down on history lane um, and I'll show you where I lived so Let's do this. Oh, so now we're actually gonna have a look at places I lived in when I went to school. And we're gonna go down memory lane. Uh, what does that mean? That means, we're actually, I'm gonna show you a couple of houses where we lived. Um, when we were living up here because we didn't just live in Husum we lived in Oldenswald, we lived in uh, Friedrichstadt, we lived in all sorts of places so um, that's gonna be something I'm gonna be taking you around so we're gonna go to Oldenswald. Oldenswald is sort of the place where I then used to live when I was in the third and fourth grade of school I think fourth grade of school? fifth? fourth? fifth? something like fourth or fifth grade of school that's the time when I lived in Oldenswald. Um, and in this this whole North Sea area is where I sort of grew up my childhood after I came back from um, Asia which I told you already and it is it's really funny because we used to move around a lot somehow because my mom and dad they split up it's a uh, fact number three you didn't know about me <laughs> uh, and then we needed to sort of sell the house and my mom we moved on into a smaller uh, sort of uh, area and then we lived in Fürthstadt, I think, and then in Husum. But I'm gonna show you all that stuff now. So we're gonna go to Oldenswald, which is another two kilometers away now, and then I'll show you our little home, home sweet home in Oldenswald. See how that goes. I don't even know if that house still is there, but here we go. Is Oldenswald? Can you see it? This is like the the sign that we're in Oldenswald. Yeah, it looks already a bit different, but we're, you know, Oldenswald is such a little town that there only, there's one main street really, and we lived on that main street, and this is the other main street. So they're gonna cross, and the crossing at the very end there is basically the center of the town. Um, yeah, and this is, uh, this is really funny, isn't that, somehow? Being back in these places, I told you guys, it's so, so weird. Yeah, we don't need you, you can't shut up now. This is where I used to wait for the bus to go to school. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Like I said, it's like the best thing in the world, going back to places you haven't been before. Um, I need to just check that I can drive around, yes I can. And here we go, this is the old street. And this house here, over here, right there where it says Blumen. That house here, that's the one I lived in right here this little housey Dorfstraße 23 oh my god it's still the same I need to see this for my own eyes this is basically the center of the street and actually this where it says Provincial that was a Sparkasse so that was a bank before and that doesn't look too bad I mean I didn't remember that the church was there as well and this thing where it says Blumen 
right? That's like a flower shop. And my, oh, my mom used to own a shop where you can buy like um, vegetables and stuff like that. So that was down there. And at the first top, these two windows up there, that was the, um, the sleeping room of my mom. And then you basically went in there. It's a nice, nice little house. Was quite big um, in a way, but it's so it's freaking empty here, right? No one's on the street. You can walk around with a camera, with anything. No one really freaking cares. But this is like a wirt. Wirt means in Germany something like a pub, right? Where you can get some some food and stuff and things like that. That also still exists, which is funny. <laughs> so let's have a look. I'm just going to take some pictures and then we'll move on. But you can see there's the, the boats on that side and then you've got on this side and the thing is when you live here in these houses and we're going to go to the house where we lived um, you have a little boat you actually have a boat on the side you can see that here and then uh, in German you say Grachten coming down the street and where it says hotel was um, a guy of mine uh, a friend of mine he lived here they owned this whole hotel and that was pretty awesome because uh, they had a swimming pool and all that stuff inside, so we had quite a lot of fun there. And this is basically the marketplace here, where, um, you know, it looks more or less the same. And this house on the corner here, that's the house where we lived. And I'm gonna try to find a car park. Um, that one's too small, but... So we're now in Friedrichstadt, and this is the house. This one here on the corner, that's the one I basically lived in. I lived at the top floor. The very top floor. Middleburgwall, that's what it was called. Middleburgwall. There you go. And it had direct access over here. And the cool thing is down there where the boat is lying, this one, that one's actually still the same one. That's Schmidt's boat. <laughs> and the boat here, which is covered now, I mean, mine looked a bit different, but so basically I came out of the house and then just walked around there, hopped into my boat. Uh, like in Venedig, you can then, you know, drive around. It's a very, very cool place here. It's a very idyllic sort of place. And then, you know, you can drive around here in the water and you can drive around there, all around the town. So like, like Venedig, it really is. Uh, or Venice. Venedig is the, the German word. So this is the stuff I was doing when I was younger. Um, just thought I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek inside. So after my mom and dad broke up, we then moved into this house for a short while, I think for a year or so. And that's the time when I, you know, explored this area. I think my mom and dad, they were still, I don't really know. Who gives a shit anyway? They're not together anymore. You will see. You will see. So we just entered Husum, which is um, the place where I more or less spend all my my childhood or youthhood if, if if I could say so that's where I went to school from I think fifth grade until up to my um, high school degree so 13th year all of that time I spent here so it's a very very um, yeah I mean lots of memories here obviously so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two things yes yeah, so I'm gonna show you my school I went to and I'm gonna show you the actual um, house we lived here for most of the time. We also moved a couple of times, but the other house isn't that exciting, so we'll see. We're on the street now to my old school. All right, here we go, my old school, here we come. Okay, so let's switch to this camera. Three, two, one. Boop. All right, so we're driving up this street, and this is basically where you then walk up when you get out of the uh, you know, train or bus or whatever, and then, this is my old school called HTS, Hermann Tastschule. So this is where I made my Abitur, my high school degree I got from here. And yeah, this is the school, holy crap. We're gonna go in here for sure. Wow, this is so awesome. Let's park it, baby. So this is where I got my high school degree. Hermann Tastschule, HTS. That is the abbrevi abbreviation for it. I think it's closed actually. Let's see if it's open. I'm just gonna try it. I actually went to school here. <laughs> oh my god. 
you can really see. <laughs> All good. I just need to go to the secretary and say that I'm here and I can have a look around. My fifth year was here in this classroom. So when I came, <laughs> fucking hell, this is so cool. 5D. Oh my god, this is the freaking class. This is the freaking class I was sitting in. Here you go, guys. I was sitting here in the back. I always sat in the freaking back. Let me put the, put the camera up here. So this is basically the classroom. I came in after you know, after a Realschule, which is sort of the school where you then, you know, you go to, to high school, mean something and so on. And I was like a dumb shit, like I told you. I had no clue everyone was picking on me and so on. So I was sitting in the back and at the front, you know, was all the, all the knowledgeable guys and girls who, who knew more than I did. But anyway, who cares? I just wanted to show you this class. It's amazing being in this class where I can't believe it's so cool. <laughs> That still exists. Uh, fucking hell. This 16 years ago. I graduated from this school. And that's even more like 20 something years ago. I actually went into this class. Fuck man. This is sort of the area I love to do. B. You know. The, the gym. The sports stuff. That's what I was good at. And you can see this building over here. That doesn't even exist. Which is called Aula. So they have like a big stage and stuff. This whole building on that side didn't exist at my time. Yeah, let's see what else we can find. So it's nice, I just said to them, I went here and did my, my Abi tour in 2000 and said, yeah, just walk around, open any door you want. So this is, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so here you can see the entrance a little bit better. So that's where I just walked in. And the outside has been changed a little bit. I mean, it's more modernized now, um, but yeah. So I started year five, I showed you that room. I actually can't remember year six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on, um, because you know you move around in the school as you go up in in your in, in the years. Okay, this is closed. This one closed. Yeah, that's closed too. No worries. Anyway, so that's the sports hall. You know, you go there, and that's all the the sports equipment in there. But anyway, it's like it's a normal gym. Let me show you now where I lived here, which is pretty close, and I was able to. Um, you know, basically walk here, but I also had a motorcycle at that time, so it was pretty cool as well. All right, now we're driving down the street and we're coming to the actual house where I basically lived most of my childhood. And yeah, it is called Mönkevik, so that's basically where the blue car is right now at the end. We're gonna go up that road and it's more or less straight on the left-hand side, right here. Let me uh, park the car just right up here. This is also where we used to park our cars, actually. Let's take a look. Damn, that's the house, guys. Right there, right up there. See this chimney sort of thing, just at the top bit there. That's where I had my, my room, actually. So my motorcycle, basically at the end, when you walk up there, at the very end, I had my motorcycle was standing there and then we lived sort of in the top area of the house, not in the whole house. We just, uh, you know, like I told you, my mom and me, we, uh, we spent the time up there, really. Um, and then you just walk out here, down there, where the car is coming up, straight down, all the way straight through, and you come to the school I just showed you. So, I basically, I was walking to school, and then when I was 16 years old, and I, you know, I got my first uh, little motorcycle moped, I started driving to school because it's a cool thing to do, right? The thing is, I don't know any of these people now who are living in these houses, otherwise I would have showed you the inside as well. But I thought I'll give you a bit of a, you know, a little bit of a tour of my history, where I live, what I've done here in Husum and, and the school and so on. So I hope you like this stuff so far. Guys, so this was my little video of you, uh, of me showing you where I lived and so on and so forth. I hope you like that stuff because you know it's a bit different. I show you a bit about my background and stuff. 
anyway, tomorrow's video is going to be about, um, you know, more specific instructions of how we're going to go about the um, challenge. Because uh, what I just want to point out, because otherwise this video is going to be too long. Um, just to bear in mind, I just don't, you know, I think the video is going to be too long. That's why I just want to make it very short. <clears throat> All right, so I just uh, arrived now back home here in uh, at my grandma's house. Now the thing is, I hope you like this little uh, journey in history of my, you know, where I lived, what I did, and so on and so forth. But to make this video not too long, tomorrow's video is going to be about our challenge, which we're all going to be to doing together, which is amazing. And the comments you left on that uh, video yesterday was was great. So somehow you guys are excited. You want to start the challenge with me, and I'm, I, you know, I'm on on target of losing the weight and stuff so i think we can start on monday if not i will let you know but as of tomorrow's video i'm going to give you guys instructions um on how you can prepare for the challenge and so on like how you're gonna uh, uh you know calculate your calories how you're going to be doing this how you're doing this basically i'm going to be your personal trainer for the next 30 days for free isn't that cool so i'm excited on this journey for us for all of us together so yeah um, yeah, I'll, I'll just finish it here today. So punch like button, punch subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I want you to become something in life. I want you to be something in life. And I didn't know what that means. You know, I'm, I was like 12 years old. I was getting bullied in school. I had the worst grades in, in my whole life. I, I didn't know where life was going with 12 years old. 